but I actually think you got good pretty pretty fast. Uh, you started in 20, 2009 and I think in 2013 you were already like around 2100 and then actually in 2014 you won the uh, World Youth Championship girls under uh, 12. How was that experience for you? And you were mentioning that only the top three were qualifying and were traveling. Was that the first time you traveled abroad? Uh, no, actually I played my first World Youth um, in uh, two years before that and when I was 10 years old. So that was my first like international, big international tournament. But I started competing more in chess um, after I moved to Virginia when I was nine. So um, my coach at the time, California, told my parents, you know, I think she's talented. You should take her to more tournaments. So there is actually a lot of tournaments in the Virginia, D.C. area. So I just started competing more and I learned openings. <laughs> so that was the thing. I didn't have an opening. And then I learned these openings, which is actually from Yasser's book, Winning Chess Openings. <laughs> what were the openings? <laughs> so at the end of the book, he has um, like a little excerpt. So it's like white and then black against D4 and black against E4. So it's like three pages for each opening. But for white, it was knight of three, um, which eventually turned into C4, which I still play mm -hmm. to this day. And then for black, it was perk and I think Kings Indian. So, okay. um, yeah. So, so all learned... very similar structures, all very schematic Kings Indian type structures. Yeah. But I, you know, I, I kind of switched my openings around, but it was always a kind of like a little bit dubious. Like I went from Perk to um, the Fildor. <laughs> okay. Which, That's similar still. Which is similar a, structure. Yeah. Which is, I was just like, I want to keep it. I want to keep the pawn D6, but have E5 first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, the Kings Indian just annoyed me. I was like, I want a pawn <laughs> in the center of the board. So that's, <laughs> just love and just plays love um but yeah so i think it's I one learned... of those underrated openings slightly underrated the king's indian it's really difficult yeah. to handle from the white side i think i just just having like a little bit of a repertoire even if it was like three pages was like still like a improvement <laughs> from having nothing because before it was just like you know you look over to um board beside you and you're like oh they have this position on the board seems interesting i can do that in my next game so <laughs> that was that was how I started out. Yeah. Actually, but... have you ever had like you're playing a game and then you see that another game a few boards down or even next board or in the playing hall they have the exact same opening variation and you're following the same game? Has, has that happened to you? I think it's happened before, maybe once or twice, but um, not enough to like where it's like you're completely copying them. And how was that but... uh, world world title under twelve? Where was that, by the way? Oh, that was um, the South Africa. South Africa. Oh, that's yeah. So that's pretty far. <laughs> how was uh, yeah, how was that? Who did you guys travel with? Who was the coach? Well, was it um, Aviv Aviv Friedman? Because I know well, I think he... the, the U.S. Federation at the time they would send a group of coaches there, uh -huh. and you would be assigned to a coach. So there, were, I don't remember how many they would have, but the coach, my like actual coach at that time was um, Andranik Matipasian. Mm -hmm. So he was my coach there because. You know, he was my actual coach, but yeah, so that tournament was, I think was also quite unexpected. Um, I was also, cause this is my third world youth, you know, the world youth before I actually tied for bronze. So I was slowly getting better, but, um, you know, I didn't feel too good going to tournament, but I kind of just went on a roll too. Also won that tournament 10 out of 11. <laughs> so it was like the almost exact same situation as the U S champs, the Pooh, um, in 2019. But that was like my first big win 